Okay. So I've taken the mouse and pinned it on its back and pinned down all four limbs. You want to get a mouse stretched out so you can easily cut through the skin without cutting the peritoneum. So sufficiently ethanol the mouse down. And then I'm going to use scissors that kind of have curved uh, blades to them that also helps to um, not cut the peritoneum and then forceps of course. Um, you're going to grab just the skin and pull it taut, um, which will help you not cut the peritoneum. And then I make a small incision just to cut away the skin and then um, making sure that the blade of my scissors are pointed up, cut up, being very careful not to cut through the peritoneum, just cut open the skin. So you'll cut all the way up to the chest and then cut down the limbs as well. Um, and you want to do this because you're going to end up pulling the skin off of uh, the tummy and then away from the limbs, uh, which will make it easier to inject the media to collect the macrophages. Okay, so then you're going to gently pull the skin off the peritoneum, and then I use the scissors to push the peritoneum and dislocate it from the skin on the back. Um, being careful not to jab at the peritoneum so you don't puncture it. And then pinning down the skin helps. Around the other side, so you can see. Okay. Um, so I like to inject through the bottom left leg, the mouse's bottom left leg. And so I can pull the skin away from that a little bit as well. So you can see down here the femoral artery and uh, you're gonna wanna be uh, careful of that to make sure that you don't accidentally nick it when you're injecting the media into the mouse. Okay, so now we're going to take a 15 mil syringe and connect it to a 20 gauge needle. And then you're going to take up five mils of cold clicks media. So we keep the clicks in an ice, in ice to keep it cold. You don't need. Okay. And then uh, you're going to want to um, inject the media along the leg, making sure that the opening of the needle is um, pointed outwards. So the sharp point of the needle should be pointed should be facing more towards the body and the opening farther out. So, a little tricky, but you can inject just left of the femoral artery and you have to kind of go in and then lift a little bit up because you'll hit um, the part of the pelvic bone, um, but that'll be okay just as long as you don't hit a vein to cause bleeding into the peritoneum. So once you're in about halfway the length of the needle, you can inject the media into the peritoneum and you should see it being filled with the media. Um, if you don't see it being filled, then it's likely that you have a blockage somewhere. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave the needle in. You can also take it out, um, which It'll, it won't cause media leakage through it, but I'll just keep it in there for um, time being. And then you're going to use a hematocrit, which is basically 
scissors. Hemostat. No. <laughs> I don't even know the name. Um, to crimp onto the peritoneum, and you want to shake it really well for a couple of minutes. So we'll pause while we shake so that you don't have to watch a couple of minutes of us shaking. But you can lift the peritoneum and then lock the hemostat and then shake the peritoneum from side to side. Um, doing this for at least two minutes, better if it's two to four.